Hello. So here <clears throat> we're going to compare the Ortlieb Classic back roller bag to the Ortlieb uh, back roller plus bag. And let's sort of compare and contrast some of the features and give my opinion on how well they work and what and how you might think of them. So the back roller classic, which I've already gone over in videos before, but it's got its well it has the side buckles here for attaching your strap. I actually have to had to uh jury rig a certain a couple of things on this so um but all this is pretty standard for how the bags work, the things that you have seen before where there's the bottom clip here, the handle with the to clip on the racks, the inserts to go into the racks, the internal pouch, and the rolling mechanism for the closes. And then compare it. And for all these pieces that are mobile, you have to use uh, an Allen wrench in order to get them off. Here and up here. On the Back Roller Plus model, they've they have the same method for closing it, which is right here, which just loops over right over the top. Same strap mechanism. And same strap retention mechanism if you end up liking to use this. And the same basic framework of how the bag's set up. But, and of course with the internal sleeve. Right here. But, in addition, <clears throat> the changes that are on here, and you can sort of see it some as I'm moving this around. First of all is the material on this is a bit more like a sort of a thick PVC plastic kind of material and on this it's more of a waterproofed uh, fabric, waterproof cordura type of material. Second big difference is the hook retention placement spots. <clears throat> on here you can see you've got this loop underneath and this loop above. While on here, it's pretty much just the loop underneath. Third difference <coughs> is that this loosens and can be loosened and tightened by hand. Although if you have a large screwdriver, you can also do the same thing. Or a large uh, Allen wrench. But this makes on-the-fly adjustments a bit easier. And the same is true for up here, except instead of being twist to be able to move things. Just, un just pop that and you can slide this up and down and then when you found your right place you pop it back in. <clears throat> and those are the main differences between the bags. Now as far as comparison and also because the material of these ba this bag versus this one a set of these is uh, I believe it's a around seven ounces lighter. You'd have to compare on the Ortlieb site in order to be able to be certain of that. But these are lighter by noticeable amount. Now, for my opinion on one of the, well, for considerations for people for one versus the other, there's, some people apparently like the, uh, the fabric feel better than this sort of plasticky kind of feel. But part of what's the challenge for me with the fabric is, as you can see, when I've opened up the bag, this stands up upright on its own, which makes packing it really very easy. If you're going to the grocery store or if you're going on tour, if you're doing anything with this bag, packing is very easy. <coughs> While with this bag, I'm going to pop it up. And you can see by the fact of how much it's flopping over already that this does not really want to cooperate with me doing that. It, which by itself makes it harder to uh, pack this. Second thing that makes it harder to pack the Plus model is the rubberized, is the uh, waterproofing for this bag makes it so that the inside 
especially when you first get it. It sort of gets better as time goes on, which maybe means that I'm wearing out the rubber, proof, the waterproofing. But the inside is sticky, which means that when you're trying to shove stuff into it, you're catching it all over the place and it's just fighting you. While with the original bags, that's not a problem. That's not what ha that's not what's happening. Um, sort of the third efficiency from the plus model versus the original model, I'd say, is that while while it's very nice to be able to do things without having to use tools with this, as you can see, these are each little individual slots of <clears throat> that you have to click over in order to get into just that slot to be able to set set where you want the, the clip to be moved to. The problem with that is if, at least from my experience, I'll end up needing a space between these two little clip sections in order to actually put this retention spot to be able to fit it right on my rack in an ideal location. Um, so that's a, a bit frustrating. And third, from my experience with these bags compared to these, is that this retention clip for the bottom is way more flexible, which means that I have had, oh, just within 15 minutes of my commute going home, had this bag unclipped on the bottom from my rack. And that's with the rack being pushed all the way up here against that and very much in a tight space where it shouldn't be able to get out. But you hit some bump and it just pops out and suddenly my bag is resting against the rack right here and I see this bending and from the weight of the bag on it and it's just not pleasant. And been a real giant irritation for me. Meanwhile this one might be shorter, but this is really sturdy and it does not move. Maybe Orly chose to use a lighter more flexible plastic on this, but the trade-off is very much not worth it. I'd rather have a piece of steel on this than and have the extra weight than have this flexible plastic. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else between these two that makes for a distinct difference, but I, I believe that's it. So essentially, the main pluses for the plus bag are the ability to adjust things without tools. The fabric material, if you like a little bit of a more fabric-y cordura kind of feel compared to a plastic-y heavy rain jacket kind of feel. Um, <clears throat> a slightly lighter weight. And the uh, dual line system here for <clears throat> making your adjustments. Those are the main pluses of this bag. The main pluses of the Classic are the lack of sticky inside material, the ability to stand up once you've just pulled up the bag. I actually find this a little bit easier to roll too because once I pop in this, pop in the inside, pop in the sides, it just rolls very easy. With this, because it's floppy, it ends up fighting being rolled a bit more because it tries to pop out a lot. Um, Third, uh, better feature of this is the ability to adjust this at a large range. Fourth is the uh, sturdierness of this clip. And so for this speed, for the plus being more expensive, I would say the Classic is a much better option and a much, a much better buy and much <coughs> better use for your uh, for your money and for your trips and from everything from touring just to going down to the hardware store or grocery store and getting some groceries. Um, so hopefully that helps people with making any of your choices. And as always, let me know if you have any questions or comments.